Guys, it's it's been hard. <laughs> Guys, it's, it's it's been hard. It's been hard. Like literally, because I've just been thinking about this ever since. Like, what J Cole did is arguably one of the worst things I've ever seen in rap. If you just think about it, like pound for pound, could be one of the worst things that you did. Because see, because I've been thinking about this for a whole long time. I'm sure I'm going to be about it for a whole long time. See. There are two ways you can cut this. There's life and there's hip hop. In life, oh my gosh, like 100%, like live your truth. Live your truth. But this is hip hop. This was the mistake that J. Cole made. He should have never have res responded. That was a mistake. Because if you're insulting someone, you have to mean it. Cannabis. Which I feel so cannabis second round here for me. I feel pound for me, that's the best this of all time. So what's the whole cannabis thing? I'm coming up. I'm a huge fan of LL Cool J. It's a big thing to be on an LL Cool J verse with him, LL Cool J. Um, what what's it called? M um, Red Man, Method Man. Boom. Then LL Cool, and then he just says, "Oh man, can I just you know can I can I borrow that mic from you? I'm on everything." Then LL Cool J is like, "Nah." Then LL Cool J, without him knowing, insults this guy up and coming. So for cannabis, when he drops second round KO. You could feel the disappointment he had of him of like, I'm just a guy coming up. You are this huge, massive star, and you completely made me look like an idiot. So you could see the venom and the meaning behind it. We don't even need to go through about Nas and Ether. I'm going to speak about Ether and Takeover. But, you see, Nas Ether, that speaks for, it, for itself. That's for see, history. See, for JJ Cole, the mistake was you should have never responded in the first place because you didn't obviously, you didn't obviously mean it. But here's the thing. Let's say I was advising Jay Cole. I'd say that you don't have to respond. But Jay Cole, what do you want to be? Do you want to be number one or just, oh, yeah, you're a pretty good rapper. If you want to be number one, you just have to just show Kendrick why I am, I am now better than you. Ten years ago, you were better than me. Show him, lyrically speaking, that I'm better than you. So why you didn't feel that you could just engage in a in a lyrical sparring of a bro right now i am better than and i i still believe j cole is better than is a better rapper than kendrick that's what makes it so sad i believe that if they were going to go back for lyrically j cole in 2024 beats him in 2013 no 2013 2015 no kendrick is too good people get better in 2024 i don't think kendrick in a lyrical battle can beat j cole so my thing is that for this guy it's like the mistake was you shouldn't have, have responded. You shouldn't have responded because you, this is the reality now. You cannot say you're the best anymore. You can't. You just can't. So because people say, oh my gosh, you can't be so extreme. Like how, how does this like ruin him as a rapper? No, you can still release good songs and everything, but you can never come out and say that you're the best. It just doesn't make sense anymore. <laughs> because <laughs> because if you now say you are the best people will just say against a guy who everyone thinks is the best you quit a guy who quits and who doesn't have the heart to go in into a lyrical warfare you can't be the best you can't be number one you know so my thing for, for jake is that i don't think you realize because people say career suicide is too extreme but it is, in a sense, career suicide because J. Cole wants to be established as I'm, I'm the best. Unless I'm mistaken. Unless I'm mistaken. Maybe J. J. Cole doesn't want to be established as that, but the J. Cole I know wants to be like, finally, the light is shining upon me. This is my time. And if you want to be the, 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 the best, if you want to be the best, there are guys that say, no, 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 you're not. I'm better than you. So to be the best, you've got to show you the best. Jay-Z released TakeOver because he knew Nas still existed. He knew Illmatic existed. And he knew that, bro, if I'm to be number one, if I'm to be the best, I have to say no. This guy called Nas, who is the chosen son, I am better than the dude. That's why I said takeover is that I am taking over. I am now the number one rapper right now. So Jay-Z, he, he knows that he had to do that. So for you, J. Cole, again, maybe you don't want to be, but if you want to be number one, you have to show that you're number one. And by what you did, it's crazy. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll come to you a bit. Last thing is that 
So I was just following like a Twitter thread and there was actually a guy who went to the Dreamville concert. And he said that after the J. Cole apology, everyone just felt horrible. That when, when everyone was leaving, they said like, bro, the mood was down. Bro, do you like, is, do you know what she freaking did? At your own festival. It is At your town. own festival. It In his hometown. It fucked me, man. HH, hey, this is, I was specified this, this is hip hop career suicide. Like yes. what he did. Like every MC, like, think about every rapper. Like, if you want to be like the top 10, top 20, they all battle tested. Like, everyone, it's, Ice it's, Cube. It's Keres One, <clears throat> Rakim, Jay Z. Every, it's every rapper that's Two been established as part of like everyone. the top five or everybody has, has had to battle. Every single one. Yeah. And, and also, they've had to battle someone who was seen as one of the best at the, at the time. Yeah. That's, that is just, that is your right of passage. That's, and Ips, here's the thing though. As, as people said, this was never going to get violent. This was never going to get, this was going to be pure lyrical. And I'm sorry, see, you know, it's, sometimes it's like, because Ips is like, it's like, it's like, what do you want? And if you want something, sacrifice is very key. If you really want something, if you really want something, especially if it's something high, you have to sacrifice. So Ibs, what is the sacrifice? The sacrifice is I've got to go after my friend. Because J, because J. Cole, either you want to be number one or not. If you want to be number one, then cool. If you want to be number but one, hey, you are they really friends? Are they really friends? Like best friends? Like, come on, like, is Ibs, it the same the friends exaggerate? No, no, Ibs, why would he have apologized? Uh, H, can I speak after Ibs? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. No, no, but listen, H H yeah, he said he couldn't sleep. For two days, he said. He, could, he said I was losing peace. I couldn't sleep for two days. Like it's as if like Kenji was like the Grim Reaper. Like <laughs> he was getting into his dreams. Like you know, okay, okay, you know okay. So this is my my theory. Is you may be right. My theory is it has exposed who J Cole really is as like a person. He's not built for this. But hey, so, every every rap this last. Feature on he's been going on for the last year. He's like, oh, I'm the best. Somebody test me. Ips. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm the go. I'm Ips. this and that. Tell you, bro. Ips, no, no, no. <laughs> because, 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 I mean, because Ips, Ips, I'm confused because you've been going on this run of like, I'm the best. I'm number one. No one can mess me. I'm Muhammad Ali and everything. And then when a guy says, no, you're not the best. I'm the the, the best. It's not time for you to now prove you you're, you're the best. Okay, let's go. So by on this same that, album, he was saying he was the best. The same yeah. album he just put out, he was saying he's the best. In some songs. Like, how do you say on the same album you're dissing Kendrick, and then you saying, oh, I'm the best. Like, I couldn't even listen to the album oh, in oh, the oh, same okay, way. Okay, 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 let me ask you this though. Let's say you were in J. Cole's company, and, and, and streets, shout out to, to the people out in the streets on YouTube and Twitch, and Twitch please, and um, contribute to, I'll bring your comments up. So, let me ask you this. If you were in J. J. Cole's camp, and you hear like that, do you do you say J Cole respond or do you say wait until Drake? Um. So so so, so do you, do, do you say, say so do you say respond or do you say wait until Drake responds? No. Why did why does he need to wait for Drake? Like who's Drake? Because Drake like no 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 that song was at at Drake. When you look when you look at those lyrics, he's going towards Drake. Yeah, J. Cole is there, but he that is clearly towards Drake. But I he mean, took a stray. It's like is he still took a it's like he still took a little shot at, at J. Cole, so he still should have like rapper's mentality is like, okay, you even said my name in that kind of way is is on site. Like we we're, <laughs> we're going to have a verbal back and forth. Like it's just weak. Like J this exposes like what you said, J. Cole's character. Like he's a weak character, like I think now, yeah, he's going to be exposed. Like, I think everyone's going to start going after him. Like, Ibs, no, it's, no, 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 sorry, so before we went to life, and I actually had one of his his his, his tracks, which was really good. Like, he actually did one track in Nigeria, um, Simba. Yeah. It's, 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 it's begun. Bro, J. Cole, you are now a target. Guys are going uh, yeah. guys are going to now target you because it's, and because you have to understand that, Ibs, it's so bad. So we live in a world of viral social media what is the buzzword now in rap j cole is a quitter j cole lets nas down so if you want to just get like a freestyle you just want to just become viral talk talk about talk about j fold j j cole <laughs> quitting so and what could he say you've made yourself a freaking target now yeah what could he say like he he has to take this l it's like 
Abes, like. Abes, this man in his own hometown, he said, yo, I'll take it on the chin. Hit me. Like, hey, chick, that's it's like, that you, on, that's like you're on the street, yeah? And someone p- pushes you or punches you and you do nothing. You just, you let yeah. them punch you. No, no, no. Abes, he literally said that, yo, my, my bad, yo, Kendrick, if you want to hit me on the chin, I'll take I'm so, Ibs, I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Let me, okay. AK, okay, what are you saying, bro? AK, okay, what are you saying? Let me go uh, after yeah, AK, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, HH, I just listened to second round KO and, um, I, 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 sh- I, I wait, 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 so, so, oh, wait, is that your, your first time listening to it? Yeah, because I'm quite, I kind of new in the rap game. So, like, I listened to it and, I mean, first of all, like, I knew something was up when he, when he released that song, man. Seven minute drill. That's not a diss track. I'm sorry. I don't count that as a diss track. I don't count a song where one of the lyrics, your third shit was massive and that was your prime. That's not a diss track. That's literally a criticism of his. Of his no, 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 of no. His... no but, 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 you can, but with the apology, you can tell that he didn't even really mean it. Exactly. It, it like, felt like if he was forced into it, which is... Like, I don't understand. Like, don't don't release it then. Like, if, if you don't want to, you know, publicly, you know, put out a diss, don't publicly put out a diss. Just, just ignore the... Just ignore Kendrick's diss. Like, I don't oh, no, know No, no, no. But, like... but, okay, but... So play devil's advocate. So, now, it is what it is, but peer pressure, peer pressure. So... Oh, yeah. Everybody was like, man, Cole, you gotta respond, you gotta respond. And Cole knows that, bro, I'm building onto my album. So, bro, so this is why it's so confusing. He knew that the hip hop thing to do is you have been challenged. Respond. Yeah. This is the hip hop thing to do. So, to backtrack, it's sort of you're contradicting yourself because here's the thing. Okay, same thing I asked Ibs. Let's say you're in JJ Cole's camp. Do you advise him to respond or to not res- res- respond? What would be the best strategy? Well, if I, I'd advise him to respond, if he like, you respond, like respond, respond. Don't respond with this shit. Like, bro, the, it's, this is all so lame. Like, don't. Why are you responding with that? Oh no, no. It's, That's yeah, my I think. It's, 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 it gets on the right path. You see, if I was advising him, I'd say. And people said you can't diss Kendrick's discography. You just can't. It's it's too too good. Your response has to be, "It's my time now. I'm better than you," and you hardly drop. You drop every thirty months. That this I am. I'm the best now. I'm I'm number one. Prove to me that you are as as good as me. Let's go back back and forth. So you have to just show how good you are on a lyrical level, because that is the only way he beats Kendrick. Because he, he can't he can't say that you, his his albums are trash. Kendrick only has one week week album, and even the albums I don't like the album, but he has only has one week album, and he has three classics. So you just have to just prove to him that I am just lyrically better than you. But yeah, no, like even then, like he has to like if you're gonna say his albums are weak, like say your albums are weak. He didn't even like say that in the diss he was like compl- kind of complimenting kendrick's albums in the diss itself oh, no no no, like, no but no but the thing is that don't even talk about his albums being bad because oh, people, yeah. people will know it's a lie so it's like so basically anybody insulting kendrick you can't and you can't insult him from his disc- discography because yeah, it's yeah. just known that his discography is amazing you know so yeah so i mean for J. Cole, like, it, it's just, like, it's disappointing, like, at the end of the day. Like, we expected something that was really big, but then, yeah, this guy, he's just come out as a pussy, ultimately. And now we have to listen to a, I don't even know if this is going to happen, but we may have to listen to a rap battle between Kendrick and Aubrey Graham, which... And and, and also, and, and the rumor is, I mean, we'll, we'll get there after the next thing, but the rumor is... He's dropping in this tonight. That's the rumor. Oh, no, nah, but respect, Dre. He's battle tested. At least he's fit. Ibs, Ibs, Ibs. Do you know what's yeah. you know, do you know what's going to be so crazy? Is if Drake really responds and goes back and forth, it will actually make J Cole look worse because Drake yeah, is a pop star. He's a part time rapper and a pop star. But so, he did it with so, Pusha T. Yeah, he's done no, a few no, no, times. Really, especially, especially if a part time rapper who we say that man, he's you just for the for the girls, actually engages in a back and forth. With Kendrick, it will make J. Cole look even worse. 
yeah, to make Jake Paul look so boss. Like, yeah, he's not, he can't ever claim that number one rapper spot again. Never. Okay, before I go to best, let me just hit this. So shout out to Martin Rosario. Is here. Before <laughs> y'all begin, oh my gosh, rest in peace to the GOAT <laughs> OJ. The Juice had an amazing career with his... <laughs> You see, you know, Martin is messed up, bro. Martin, you you are a messed up individual. <laughs> you are basically there's, you 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 you're just you you are you, sick in the head, man. Hollywood rock man. Fifty Cent didn't get shot sort of nine times, and Biggie and Pac didn't die for this soft ass up. Look, I don't know how J Cole lives this down. Because, because can he even go to his hometown again? Like, would they look at him the same? He has to check in. <laughs> Well, just just go to Germany at this yeah, no, point. Just, just leave for Germany. Just leave him there. Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go to Germany. No, no, I, no for me. I even, but because I was listening to like Mal's rants on Rory and Mal, and Mal was like, any rapper, like big rapper, you're looking at him funny, man. You're looking at him funny. Like J Cole, I don't think, and I, and the thing is, I know J Cole is a hip hop historian. He's a hip hop guy. J. Cole, I don't think you know what you've done. And you know what's so crazy? Even when, like, if you watch the, the video, he was saying that, yo, my guys are saying that this was a, a bad idea. His camp said, bro, J. don't do this. Don't yeah. do this. Man, um, I'm just fair. Um, enjoying J. Fold music more because I don't have to hear his fans tell me he's something. He is it. I'm not disappointed because I never rated him high. But you see, oh, this, this is the thing. For those J. Cole fans who are saying that J. Cole is the guy, this was their moment. So, because, again, this, again, I was, and this is what Maul was saying on, on Rory and Maul. Drake was supposed to be at that Dreamful concert. And they were supposed to um, perform first-person shooter at the concert. But Drake didn't go because he knew that our things are, are, are our foot. But this was when J. Cole fans could be like, bro, this is our guy. If you're a J. Cole fan who says, no, this is our guy, it is, you must feel so bad. And bro, I've been looking at this online. Every Joe Cole is like, man, we thought this was the moment for our guy. Terrible. Terrible. And so, Monty, can I list, can't listen to the new album? And I haven't listened to the new album since. I haven't. And bro, before the apology, I had that thing on loop. From top to bottom, I had that thing on loop, on loop, on loop. I can't, like, obviously, I'll go back to it, but I just can't. Like, as of right now, I have not been able to go back to that later. I've not been able to. Bertie, talk to me, bro. <laughs> Uh, one second, one second. I'm outside. Uh, give me like five minutes. Okay, okay, cool, cool, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, Slade, Slade, go for it, Slade. So, have you heard the song? Have you heard uh, his feature on uh, Johnny P's Caddy, the Benny the Butcher song? Yes, yes, yes. So, does that mean because of this apology? Does that mean we have to look at those type of verses with like an asterisk on top of it? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. Slade, uh, Slade, every single. <laughs> Every single verse where he says, I'm number one, I'm not the best, it doesn't mean anything. Is because that, because by you saying you're... The, if someone says, I'm the best, you're going to have challengers. Yeah. So if, so if he says, no, I'm the best, they say, okay, I challenge you. We fight, whoever wins. Okay, you know, like, it's like, what's a king, like, you know, like, king of the hill. I'm king of the hill. Somebody's yeah. going to challenge you. Whoever wins, I'm king of the hill. So you, if you say you're the best, you don't think you're going to have challengers? People will challenge you. So, okay, you say you're the best. Prove it. You cannot say I'm the best. It's one thing saying you're the best. It's another thing proving you're the best. So yeah. Kendrick was like, "Oh, you're Muhammad Ali. Okay, prove. It. No, you're not. So I am. All right, yeah. let's go to war." But yeah, but because I remember, I remember a while back because JID, who's another really good rapper, is on Dreamville, was saying that you know they wanted the Dreamville people to go at TDE when Kendrick was still on TDE. And apparently J. Cole didn't want to, didn't want the smoke with them. So now, I mean, does this kind of lend credence to it or kind of show that, yeah, he really wasn't about it. Around that, I remember around that same time too, he dropped a track called Middle Child and he said yes. that like um, Drake was his big bro or something like that. But it, it's, it's disappointing. And now to have the album called The Fall Off, it's like, I already, I <laughs> I know he's. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Because you know, like, okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. So basically, like, when you call it the fall off, it's supposed to be ironic. That, yeah. that oh, the, so I'm actually, I'm actually reaching my prime as people are saying I'm falling off. Now, with what has happened, mm -hmm. it's now taking up a different meaning now. Yeah, this was planned all along. 
This was fun then and then. It is literally the fall off. Literally. The thing yes. is, his his last album was supposed to be called The Fall Off, and he changed it to The Off Season. And mm. oh, that's a great album. But now, because of this shit, you listen to it, and there had there there has to be that asterisk there. I'm trying to think of it because there has there any been like a top tier, like rapper that's apologized? Is he Never. like the first? No, 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 wait, 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 not in this manner. Like, obviously, like Jay Z apologized once things just got too crazy with Nas, yeah. then he apologized. So, people have apologized when like right, things well, have just got into the end of the day. Well, got... what, what, what do you mean? Like, what happened during that battle? Like, like, he, like he, it just went crazy. Like, it went too long. No, 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 I think Jay Z then yeah. did. I think I mean streets help super me. Out. I think Jay Z then put like super ugly, and he went yeah, really far. Power, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. and I, I think and I think it was even his mother even said, "Yo, no, this is ridiculous." Yeah, so yeah. yeah. He dropped a line saying that he he left condoms on her. Baby yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's, 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 it was it was getting messy. So wait, but you see, that was because oh, bro, it has gotten too far, bro. First of all, your response was. It was a it was it was a, a jab. Like Jay Z was throwing freaking haymakers. I was like, okay, that's gone too far. You were just doing like little jabs, and you're like, oh, sorry, that's too much. And then I quit. So like Slade, no, this no, this has never never happened. And here's the thing, Slade, because I've got to say this before. So let's say J Cole, because just say, okay, I'm a, a conscious rapper and everything. If you look up conscious rapper in the dictionary, you will see a face called Common. Common is like the conscious, conscious rapper. If conscious can drop bitch in you in response to Ice Cube. Ice Cube, yeah. So if common, the quintessential conscious rapper can do that and stand on it, J. Cole, you have no excuse. J. Cole, you have no excuse. So if common yeah. can freaking do it, you have, you have no, no ex excuse. So it's like, because, because my thing is for, what I just want to understand is, J. Cole, what's the issue though? Because people, because are you scared of Kendrick? Are you, is this just not what you're about? Because, yeah. because then it's a conflict. If, if you're saying that, oh no, no, this is not what I'm about, then don't say you're only your number, number one. Because it's, it's yeah. passing parcel. If you say you're number one, bro, I'm better than anybody. Come on, I'm better than you, 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 you. Basically, if you say you're number one, there are no friends. Stand there on are... it. Honestly, you have to stand on it. He might not even be the best on his own label. JID could literally J. Over no, 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 no. JID is very good, but like, so here's the thing. I know we're here to clan call and everything. JID is really good. What, why I'm so angry is like, I've been like, look, rapping and everything. What J. Cole has done in some of those features, I'm like, bro, this is, this is rap, bro. Like, I've not had rapping like this since like the 90s. Yeah. Since I mean, I've not, like, the way that this guy is flowing, lyrical world play, I've not seen a guy rapping at this level since like peak Jay Z. Peak Nas. So I'm like, bro, this is what rap needs. So, Joko, I don't think, I don't realize what you've done to hip hop and rap by, by doing this, bro. Because that's why if you're a rap fan, you're like, my God in heaven, you, this is such a mess up. But the fact is that we don't know who people really are. So it's one thing being fully skillful. There's nothing I'm like, who are you as a So beyond all the rap and everything, who are you as a person, as a character? Maybe this is just who, who, who J. J. Cole is. Hey, so, let me cook, please. Yeah, best to cook, 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 uh, let me give you the background on this here. I was listening to 7 Minute Drill. And no, it wasn't that hard. Like, it was not like a very, very disrespe disrespectful uh, uh, diss track. But I was, lis I was listening to reactions, yeah? To these guys that react on YouTube, you know? Mm, yeah. I was listening to it. I was taking a shower. I had the phone in front of me. Look, I was re Like, anyone coming to my house, they're getting smoked. That's how I was, I was feeling. I was feeling, my boy J. Cole is coming. Bring anyone. I'm here. I'm standing next to him. We we show anyone that's that's coming. That's how that's how hype I was. I was like, this is just a warning, Kendrick. If you if you want to die, shoot my guy. You die straight away next round. That's how I was thinking. I was I was hyped. I was really so hyped, man. But now 
I have to tell you guys, man. J. Cole to me is not like in in the grand scheme of things now. J. Cole stands next to Will Smith. Guys that rap but they don't swear. That, that's the like <laughs> seriously. No, 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 no. I can't. Like, sorry, sorry. J. Cole, nah. What you did? That's worse than like you know these kids nowadays that they say, oh. Uh, Tupac are not in my top 10 rappers list and stuff like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, ever. Yeah. Like, that's worse. This is worse than, like, I've got Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy was, was, was this in Quavo back in the day. <laughs> I've got Soldier Boy over him now. Because he stood on what he was doing. So, so, no, 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 no. Look, the fall off, <sighs> I, I, I'm not even excited for it anymore. It's like, imagine you, you, you were texting a girl, you were excited, to, to meet her for the first time, but now she said something so off. You're like, nah, nah, nah keep, keep it, keep it, keep it. I, 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 I want to stay single or something. But, nah, this is, it, this guy's done the main damage to me, man. Do you, th how does he recover? From, let's, let's try and prove so can he really recover from this? <sighs> no, not in my no, life. So, 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 no, no, there's one way he recovers. And this is one way. And like this is my thing. This only it's way gonna be corny, him. man. It's gonna be corny. No, no, no. The only way he recovers is Kendrick goes at him fully. And come That would and be really... so dumb from Kendrick. Oh no, no, no. Betsy, you have to understand. If I'm if I'm advising Kendrick, Kendrick, leave him alone. Leave him. Exactly. Wait for for J. Cole. Yeah, no, no, no. But I'm saying that from J. Cole's point of view, you, pray that Kendrick just for whatever reason goes after you because that is the only way that j cole can oh, yeah. this. so like j cole you now doing a 180 without saying like what do you know the only way this happens is if kendrick now goes at you. so now j cole now if you don't respond if this guy is discrediting you calling you a quit a, a, a quitter calling you weak and you don't respond then you should retire from from rap that's basically what he said he said oh, my chin is here eat it yeah, he said my children. Nah, man, nah. You got nah, seriously. No, 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 no. I was wrecking J. Cole okay, seriously. Like... Okay. It's, it's, okay, it's one thing him saying that. Because I refuse to, 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 to believe him. If Kendrick goes out and fully insults him and Drake and J. Cole doesn't, does not respond, retire with immediate effects. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Retire wait, 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 wait. with immediate please, effects. Please. Wait, 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 I wait. Agree. I had a brainwave. Doesn't mm. Drake have a song called Two Birds, One Stone? Yeah, that was for um, for Joe Budden back in the day. It was a diss track, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but don't... Because that, that diss was... But Kendrick's diss was aimed at J. Cole and Drake, wasn't it? Mainly Drake. Mainly Drake. Mainly, mainly, mainly Drake. Mainly Drake. No, no, yeah. no, so, actually, did you know what's crazy? Bro, bro, if, if, if Drake releases a diss track and this is J. Cole, now that would be hilarious. So, but, <laughs> but, uh, I, 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 I pray that happens. I pray that happens, bro. I pray that happens. So, 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 Slade, what are you saying? What are you saying? But what it, so, we're basically saying if Kendrick eliminates his two main rivals with a feature, bro. Oh, no, 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 Slade. We are waiting for Drake. Because Drake, from what I've been hearing and everything, he's ready. J. Cole, he's yeah. already. Drake it's is been three weeks ready, already, and bro. also here's the thing though, it's like that's why we'll get to the Drake section afterwards because I want to something for another section because like if Drake somehow beats Kendrick, bro, we have to look at Drake very differently, right? Because for me, everyone is in that bro, Drake, you are you are you are you are losing yeah, because Kendrick you're actually going up against a full on too. rapper now. That's really grown no. up. Okay, actually, no way. Let's save it to Drake. Let, let, let's just, let, let's save it. Okay. Let me tell you one thing that's just so disappointing, you know. Mm. You know, you know, we always say, "Oh, Balotelli uh, wasted uh, his uh, potential yes. and so on." Yeah, yeah. J. Cole, you had the tools to be one of the goats. You'd be in the Mount Rush. But the way this guy was rapping, like the last few years, my Betsy. God, Betsy. why? It's, no, no, Betsy. That's why that Jake. This is one of the biggest fumbles of all time. You are just about to re to release your top album. Kendrick, just give you an alley oop. Kendrick just exactly. gave you an alley where oh let me now prove that yo I'm the best Kendrick you can't you cannot beat me bro I am ready I'm exactly. in, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in album mode because you have to understand what album mode is when you're in the album mode that pen is hitting 
Kendrick, he, you know, he, Kendrick, remember, his albums are like every year. So Kendrick's not in album mode. So he's not, his mind is not as, as sharp. So, so. Man, this guy's smoking oh, trees, man. Look, look, J. Cole, dude, right, when he said that line, when he said that line on Seven Minute Drill, they said, um, going against this guy would be like swatting a fly. I was hitting it. I was Nah, I was look. I was fighting with my shower. I was fighting. I was fighting with the water. Everything. Everyone they came around would it would be straight shot. Like that's how I was feeling. And, nah, hold on, okay, hold on. Let, me, let me bring it. Let me bring it. So Adrian, talk to me, bro. What are you saying, bro? And it's so apt, Sasha, because he lets me down again, man. Guys, how do you let the same guy down again twice in one life in one li- lifetime, bro? He lets him down again. Adrian, this is bad, it, man. This is bad. This is very bad. It's, it's, it's but, horrible. But I wouldn't go as far to say it's career suicide because everyone's saying they're not going to tune into the fall of I don't 100% believe. No, no, no. no. It, no it isn't. You have to understand what I mean by career suicide. You can, Of course you can release stuff and everything. Don't you ever say you're number one. Don't. Every time he says that I'm number one, you're people like, huh? <laughs> and Adrian... Are you saying that on the fall of there are not several lines where he calls himself the, the best? You can never call yourself the best because you will sound you sound stupid calling yourself the best after what you just did. So that's why it's career suicide because, you see, if you're like a conscious rapper, oh, it's fine. So if you're like a, a Mos Def or a Talib Kweli where you're about conscious rapping, everything, oh, that's fine. But your rapping is about, no, I want to be number one. I don't want to be like a... Talib Kweli, Jeru the Damager. I all, I want to be this rap superstar numero uno. So if you want to be numero uno, it is career so, suicide. If you want to be numero uno. But you know, the thing is, I think he's fine with... I, don't, I think he's fine with all of this. I don't think he actually cares about all of this talk. That's the thing. How? <laughs> no, no, okay, here's the thing. Do you believe that J. Cole wants to be seen as the number one rapper? Yes, but I don't think that is his biggest priority in life. No, 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 Adrian, forget life. You are a rapper. You're about to bring up your top rap album. Do you want to be seen as the number one rapper? Because, Adrian, okay, of course, <laughs> obviously your, your priorities are your family, your kids, your wife. But you are a rapper, which with, this is your main thing, this is your passion, this is your vocation, and you're about to bring up your top album. So, of course you have to bloody care that you want to be number one. I do agree with that in the sense that you know what you're entering when you decided to become a rapper. This is just the nature of the game. So you have to be prepared for when that comes. But at the same time, I don't think his heart was in this battle in the first place. I think he was peer pressured into making that um, seven minute draw. I don't think he really wanted to go out because some of it is. Oh, oh, okay, Adrian, because mm-hmm. I know, because obviously we, we spoke before, and I know if you know you're like a rap historian and you really know how to rap. So, Adrian, if you want to be seen as the number one in rap, do you f- have to prove it? Yeah, of course you do. Yeah, of course. So, doesn't J. Cole have to prove it? Because if you're saying his heart is not in it, then what, what like, like, okay, okay, what are you doing here then? What are you doing? I do agree with that, but I still have J. Cole. I think J. Cole is the best rapper in the world. This beef doesn't eclipse <laughs> Every, um, all the music he's made before, if you get what I'm saying. Okay, okay, so, okay. But it yeah. does, it, 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 it does make a dent. There's one thing, I do agree with you, but I disagree with you. I still believe that technically he's the best rapper from a technical point of view. But, okay, this is a perfect example. It's like you see a boxer and this guy is super fast. You've never seen a guy like hit the body back. This guy, this guy is fast and everything. And, like, and no one can beat this guy. I've never seen a guy punch this hard, move this fast, and have these reflexes. He goes in the ring with someone and he loses. So it's one thing seeing a boxer look amazing sparring. There's another thing when a boxer goes against another 
talented boxer and he now loses. So it's one thing where, oh, of course, you can rap and everything. But what if a guy says, okay, I want to challenge you now. Prove to me you're the, you're, you're, you're the best. It's one thing just rapping amazing in a, in a vacuum. Oh, I now want to challenge you. Oh, you want to do this lyrical sparring? Let's go. Speech your rhyme. I'll speak mine. Speech your rhyme. I'll speak mine. And then we will see who's good. Because let's be real. We know that Kendrick can go. See, Kendrick is doing this whole stuff just to be artistic. But we know that when Kendrick just wants to rap, the guy can rap. And that is what we wanted. But hey, H-H. that you're the best. Hey, H-H. you know, you know that boxer boxer analogy you just you just uh, said. You know, uh, I, I would respect J. Cole at least if you went back and forth with Kendrick and lost. I would respect that. What you? It's, you in your no, 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 see, but see, I should, these I guys doing? Wait, wait, look, look, wait, 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 one second. You know, you know that video of the um, two boxers that get in the ring and then one of them just leaves. Yeah, that's what J. Cole is doing. Yes, you see, you see, you see, that's I actually was saying that analogy to someone before. Where if he did this and he got destroyed, way more respect than than than, than what happened now. You see, put it this way: I have more, I have more respect for a guy being destroyed by a bully than a guy running away from a bully. Okay, I got beat up. I got, I got, I got destroyed. I stood up. I fought. The yeah, worst thing to I do is that you did you didn't the fight. Of course, I have way more respect yeah. for a guy who goes up against a superior opponent and gets beaten. All these guys that went against Eminem, they've got more respect than J. Cole right now. I don't care. Yes. Bro, so, someone even mentioned it. I have ridiculous amounts of respect for Benzino. Benzino is not even a rapper. <laughs> hey, Benzino, Jay, I've got he was, more respect he, for it. AMGK then J. Hey, so of J. course Cole. I do. Of, of course we, we do. I have MGK is more hip hop than J. Cole. That's how bad this is. Oh come on, come yeah. on now. Adrian, yeah. Adrian, 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 Adrian. I didn't say that MGK is a better rapper. I say MGK represents hip hop more than J. J. Cole. Because MGK, he went the heart and soul of hip hop. It is verbal sparring. Adrian, I just told you. The most conscious rapper you can think of, come on. Common, he has a diss right record, and, that, and that's freaking common. <laughs> Who is way much more of a conscious rapper than Jay Cole is? A like, common doesn't talk about I'm the best, I'm number one. He's a conscious rapper, and he has a, a, a diss record. So, what are we saying? Was that a response to Ice Cube, or was he going at Ice Cube? No, a response to Ice Cube because Ice Cube talks about how um, the West Coast is the best and it's number one and everything. And then he sort of mentioned common in the song, and then common then released that and they destroyed oh, okay. him. So. But, but, but I mean, Adrian, did you see the point? Nah, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Maybe I'm just being biased because J. Cole's one of my favorite rappers. Mine but too. It's very, it's very disappointing to see. I think it's a massive, big um, opportunity missed with the lead up to the fall off, where it can be like, I'm the number one guy. Now you guys, I'm going to drop an album and everybody that even that didn't like him will still tune into that. So I still understand where you're coming from. Um... What's it called? Oh, 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 Mr. Barry, talk, talk to me, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, first of all, hope everyone's doing well. Mm, doing well, 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 well. Barry, man, with what call has done, I've not been doing well. The oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm also annoyed because, you know, um, so obviously, first person shooter, we all listen to the track. But then when Kendrick responded on the Metro track, I was like, oh, we might get a little something. But, I w- went back to the first person shooter, and when he said the big three, it kind of clicked something in my head. Like, mm. you probably don't want to stand out because obviously, like Drake, Kendrick, and J Cole, those are the big three guys currently in the rap. But there's always there's always gonna have to be a standout, and it doesn't look like you have the the mentality of or the desire to be that guy, the standout out of the three of them. And then, um, yeah, when he j- and uh, he, he released that mixtape. Yeah, my delete later. I was like, okay, you know, it's going to build up because um, when I look at the history of his records, so the first album that I listened from him was a 2014 Four Seal Drive. But then also I listened to Cold World, Born Sinner. And then when you look at the timeline, so his most recent, uh, the off season, I was like, okay, that's a pretty good track. And obviously he was going to release the fall off. So, all right, we're going to see like J. Cole in his final form. But when he just back that i was like man man it hurts because we could have had like great potential and um yeah as you said the only way he can come back from this was 
if Kendrick really goes personal, yes. says some stuff that we don't know anything about him, about J. Cole, and just puts well, it no, no, on, 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 on the not, not, not even that. Just call him a, a quitter and weak. That's I always knew you were you were weak. Oh yeah, like, or, or or the B word, a quitter. Yes, and, yes. Yeah, some something really personal or something like a. And and and, and Barry, yeah. And if Jake Hall doesn't respond to that, he's yeah, then uh, yeah, yeah, he's got he's got to retire. Yeah. All right, let me hit the debates because I will talk about Drizzy. Um, so uh, shout to um. Can't listen to the new album anymore. Tainted. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100% is tainted. I was very hungry yet. When it's time to eat, he chose to starve. I mean, it just it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense, man. Hollywood Rock. J. Fold, Brick Door Domini. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it might be class A. Oh, easily class. Like, for the, you know, there's like the, for the International Brick Academy. Oh, he, he, he's up there. He, he's class A. He's he said. Up there. He said, I'm trying to revive a sport that's dying. And you killed it even more. Oh, that's what he said in John, John P. John P. John Scali, P. That's what he said. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, hold on. Betsy, I'm confused. See, now I'm confused. I'm trying to revive a sport that's dying. I'm confused. Then, I, J. Cole. No, J. Cole, I'm generally confused. I like, is it that you're lying? Is it that you're just doing this? Is it that you're a fake? <laughs> no, he's a baller. He's a baller. It's like when it, you know, you know, when it's the time when the cameras went to his face, yeah, and he had to just to prove it. He bought it. He bought it. The lights were too bright. Jordan Poole. Yeah, the lights were too bright. Uh, the, uh, as a as a famous Twitter person said, the brights were too light. The brights were yeah, too yeah, bright. <laughs> just bested. Future replaced Cole in the big. Um, um, DS2 or DS2 or any cool. No, come on, stop. Actually, no, no, no. <laughs> stop it, stop it. Like that. Okay, so now no, that's just going too far. No, future is just vibes. He raps about anything. Man. It's uh, you know, you know, you know, the thing thing about future listening to that to ask yourself, it's trash in yeah. a club. It sounds great. Wait, you have to listen to it in a club. Can you bring up Josh Rosen's comment? Oh, oh, no, no, I'll get I'll get there. Um, I'm just fair. Aesop Ferg dissed Kendrick on Hotline 7 and he never apologized. J. Cole, the Lataro Martinez of rap. The build up of the fall, basically. You have. Okay, okay. If you're if, if I'm J. Cole, I'm like, do you know that you've ruined the rollout for the fall off now? You've ruined it. You have ruined. Do you know how much you've been building up to this whole thing? The fall off, the fall off. You've ruined it. By this one move, you have completely ripped away the sales. Of the fall off now, I mean, what the f super wancy man? Um, um, God's favor up on the noose, not letting loose. <laughs> oh, is that is that god. another J. Cole? Oh my god, that's on Johnny P, I think, as well. Yeah, I refer Kendrick is compared to Drake and Cole because they are mainstream rappers, um, better or as good as Kendrick are semi retire and are not mainstream. Lupe over Cole. Wait, are we saying Lulu Pill or Cole? Technically. No, yes. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I know you're pissed, but don't do this, man. No, no, but technically, Lupe is good, though. Who said Soldier Boy? I respect Drake has never backed down. I said Soldier Boy over him, man. Soldier Boy is not against Soldier Boy. That might be taking things a bit too much. I'm telling you, J. Cole. J. Cole, you are banned from swearing in your raps anymore. You can't swear. You are Will Smith. Yeah, and, Will Smith. More than this, Will, Will Smith now. Um, shout to Nemo. They threw the bronze at me behind Drake and Dots. Yeah, that means it's superstars to be Cole on Heaven's EP. Looks like he's... <laughs> okay, do you think that maybe he just admires the... the, the... Do you think that this was, like, this was the first time he was in on the platform as like, oh, maybe I can't handle it. Maybe he's maybe he's like maybe it's, maybe he's just gonna cancel the fall off. Did you do you know what I think? I think he's just gonna just change the fall off to like I I apologize. Probably, like maybe he's just gonna just change the album. Maybe this oh, is a turning man. point for JJ Cole. He's gonna He's gonna look at it. You know, you yeah. know, there was this. Um, I don't know if you guys know. Well, I, I listen to a lot of uh, Chicago drill. FBG Duck, uh, he's died now. Uh, he, his ops uh, killed him. But 
he made a song like it, it was called Chicago Legends, and he was giving props to even his uh, ops. He was saying, "Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, this and that," and then the ops kept disrespecting him. So he went and dropped um, "Dead Bitches," and it was he dissed them so hard. They say that's the reason he, he died. So oh, wow. what what I'm thinking is, could J Cole then come back in the fall off and just say, "Look, I was." kidding and then he murders kendrick like like never before if he does if he does that uh, yeah uh, yeah it's, it's, it's doubtful it's yeah it's wishful thinking wishful thinking yeah oh, no, no, that's if, if he does thinking. that that might be the greatest comeback in the history oh, no no yeah it'll be great but i don't see okay so guys let's start talk about um the beige one himself man uh my boy okay. aubrey aubrey okay guys simple question anyone can drop it can Drake beat Kendrick in a rap battle? No. Uh, in, in a technical I, I rap battle, technical sense, it. he can. No, 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 no. AK. Okay. Rap battle. Of, so, so basically, this is where gloves are off. So, this is memes, power. secrets, special. Ooh, just this you know is rap. He, 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 he has a chance. Okay. He AK. has a chance. No, no, no. AK. I, I'm glad you brought that up. I listened to Takeover on Ether previously again. Take, you know, Takeover is better than Ether. You Takeover think? is a better nah. song. Let me know, no, no, guys. It's, guys, it's let's context, know. guys, let's have a real conversation. Let's have a real conversation. The beats from Ether is not good. Why? You see, see, that's why I like to watch his point is his insults just hit harder. The song Takeover is better. But hey, Chase, that was the Takeover's actual song on uh, um, and Ether just like straight diss track, lad. No, 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 you I don't but my apes, whatever the case may be, takeover as a track is better than ether. Ether just has had an interest. So as as I can say, it's like it's like lyrically for me. I feel lyrically, cohesively, musically, takeover is better. But in terms of the harder diss, the thing that's that's just hit harder was Nas and Ether. Ethers. So my thing though is that, of course, on a lyrical level, not what Kendrick can, can do, but in a diss battle, it ain't just about lyrics. It's about yeah, content. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Wait, I think Drake. Oh, okay. Is it just talking about biography? Bye, 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 bye. Now, because uh, like Kendrick, uh, obviously, I don't think uh, Drake can be him lyrically, like no word for word. But there's some stuff you can pull up on Kendrick, man. Yes. He's in th- with the thing with his wife, how he cheats, on, why, how he cheated on his wife. You see, you see, the see I'm about, and, 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 and I see that's the thing about it's about it's not about lyrics. It's yes. about content. Yeah. Like, like Barry, listen to. As a as a rap person, listen to Take Over, listen to Ether. Jay Z's rapped rapped better in terms of just lyrically. Lyrically, Jay Z's was better, but the content of Ether was just far superior, and and was just too scathing. So, Kendrick, lyrics alone ain't gonna win this for you. It's gonna be about what content do you have, and yeah. Drake. And here's the thing though. Remember, Drake is a part time rapper. Kendrick, don't you dare lose to Drake. <laughs> because remember, yeah, Drake, you see, Drake is, you see, that's why for J. Cole, it's so disappointing because J. Cole, you're a full-time rapper. Drake is a pop star. He does this, he does that. Oh, then he just does a little rap, rap on the side. J. Cole, I, Drake has never released a rap album. Never. <laughs> so the fact that Drake is ready to go to war in something you don't need to go to. But, and, he, and this, see, this is the issue. Which is why it's a cheat code. Drake can't lose. See, yeah. once you have women, you can't lose. You can't lose. Like once you have the woman, you can't lose. Yeah, hey, girls love this man too much. Yes. Yeah. 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 I have a question. Mm. So for you, like, if you are evaluating this track, is the lyrical like song the thing that you evaluate, or like the the diss? Like, I I evaluate the diss. The better it's, diss it's, is it's, always it's, the better it's, 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 track for me. It's, it's, for me, um, I can't determine. So okay, for me personally, you need the two flex. It's got to be a good beat, song, good rapping, and content. But the streets, the the, the people, it's content. Content. People will yeah, when it's a this, it's content. content. Lyrically... When, when, like, when, when it's a this, this people focus more on the content rather than music. It's like, what are you saying? What is the stuff well, that you are revealing? You see, yeah. you see um, Ice Cube's this, No Vaseline. Yeah. I don't think that's a very good song if you're looking at it musically. Yeah. But yeah, the content of what Ice Cube was saying in that one hit hard. If, no, if, no, guys, let's be real. 
Ether is not a good song. In terms of musically, it's not a good song. Takeover is a really good track. <laughs> That's a really good... Bro, I think Kanye did, did that beat. Because it's got like... It's, it samples the doors. Um, I think, yeah, Jim Mor Morrison. That's a really good beat. Takeover is a really good beat. Ether is not a good beat. It's not. But the content was just too much. That's like... Let's bro. Whoever says, yeah, who, who plays Ether in a club? You'll, 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 you'll get smacked in the face. You can play Takeover in a, in a, in a club. It's, it's, it's no, a you good can't. Track. Hey, 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 you can't play Takeover in a club, man. Relax. No, Ibs, okay, okay, okay. Ibs. Okay, okay, Ibs. Go into your head. You're a, you're a DJ. You, you can only play one track in a club. Takeover or Ether? Yeah, but that's the choice between two of them. No, no, no. But HH, hey, it's like... Ether is more like energy on the track. Like... If he was gonna play that in the club, like it's more energy on that track. It's straight like it's just F J Z, like it's straight like <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's more energy. <laughs> Not crazy. That was the opening line. Okay, but so, so, okay, so so Kendrick Drake does Drake have a chance though? I don't think Drake's got a chance. Like Drake is he's too much. He's got too much dirt on him. Like. Like his his baby mom was a porn star. Like it's already been exposed. Like there's too many stuff on him. Like like Drake, the thing is about Kendrick. Like uh, there's too many. Uh, there's a bit of like unknown with Kendrick. Like he has to go like deep. Well, but, well, it, well, apparently, apparently they say Drake has some stuff on him. Apparently, it's what yeah, they say. Um, can I add one thing? Yeah, because yeah, 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 like, when you listen to Mr. Morale, so he talks about like his in. Like the way he cheated on his wife, his uncle turning, switching genders, uh, like Kunri. So, like, bro, you can't pull up some stuff on Kendrick. Also, Abe's as well. Have you heard the new um, musical he's doing with the South Park creators, two white people, about e a guy who does this slave reenactment? And then, but you see, Abe's... wait, what the heck? Why? But hey, yeah, Drake, yeah, 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 yeah. Drake has black face. No, 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 like, but Abe's, here's there's the thing, too much stuff on Drake. But for, for Ken, but, but for Kendrick, so. There's one thing that Kendrick can say that can help Ken Kendrick. Drake, you've not. What have you said about black people in all of your songs? So Kendrick can use the black angle of like, listen to to pimp. You're saying he, like he can get political. He can, you can, oh, he could get very political. And Drake, no, oh, Drake, you're a superstar. You've you've said nothing. That, you've that's what Pusha T did. Nothing politically. Hey, shit, that's what Pusha did. T did like masterfully there. Like, he got out of him in like so many different aspects. He got out of no, his no, mom, but, but, mom and dad. Thing, though. Pusha T technically won that. Drake is still number one. See, here's the thing. No, no, but he's Drake, pop, Drake, he's Drake, pop, Drake can't. Listen, once you have a woman, you can't lose. Do you think women care about this beef stuff and everything? No. Once no, but this is hip hop. You can't lose. So basically, H, this basically, is yeah, hip hop. There we go. And that's the thing about Drake. See, see, Drake is a bit of a weirdo. Drake, you know that you don't actually need to care about this whole hip hop respect. You have the woman. You have the clubs, you have the superstar, you have you're a you're a pop star, but for some weird reason, Drake still wants that hip hop respect that I want to respect from hip hop. Well, you don't need it. So that's what makes this interesting. No, but then pop fans will go. They're not, you know what the difference between pop fans and like hip hop fans is like them pop fans, they're here today, they're gone tomorrow. Like hip hop fans, they would be with you like. Like, look at Nas or Jay-Z. Like, they got fans for, like, 30 years. You know what I mean? But them Drake fans, they might be gone <laughs> a year or two from now. Or, but he... Because he's not going to stay on top forever. No one does that. But, so there's going to be a time where they're just it's like... It's been a long run. Yeah, I'm, I'm, long bored, run. I'm bored of Drake. No, no, of course. But, come on, man. Like, even Michael Jackson was not on the same height forever, man. Yeah. Okay, okay so what, what's uh, your... Uh, Pessy, okay, sorry. Yeah, 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 go for it, go for it, Pessy, Pessy. Sorry, just to say, like, but I think, like, when you say that Drake can't lose, like, the, the real people that, that judge these battles, it's not women. It, it's the actual rap rap connoisseurs. So, in oh, their oh, eyes... Oh, 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 no, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm talking from career-wise. So, like, Drake's career can never be a handle because of women. But, yeah, if, let's say, we just but, keep like, it within hip-hop and rap... Yes, then they are winners. So if just keep it in, but, in terms of respectability in hip hop, exactly, then it's different. Yeah, yeah. And and, and 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 Drake is a guy, like that's why like Mick Mill when he, when he brought up like the the ghostwriting allegations, mm. that hurt Drake so much because Drake is a guy that wants to be respected as one of the goats 
in terms of pretty much everything, even yes. in writing, and that hurt him so much. Yeah. But and, and 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 the thing is, when you say he's gonna still be successful, it's the same thing as Nas and 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 Jay Z. Okay, Jay Z is a billionaire. He's got Beyonce. Is 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 very su successful, but. In the grand scheme of things, when we're talking about rap beef, to that nowadays we say we when when a rapper wins a battle or something, we say either the guy, yeah, yeah, yeah either yeah, that guy. Yeah, so yeah. Nas Nas won hands down, but yeah. like of course, like career wise, yeah, Jay Z is just bigger. But like when when the real people are talking about real uh, rap battle, there's no I, I, there's I, I, no I, I, contest. I, I, funny thing though, funny thing. So. If Jay Z never married Beyonce, do you think Ether would have done a lot? Would have harmed Jay Z's career even more? It's not even Beyonce. Like Jay Z's got too much connections with like these higher up people. Like it's it's not only no, Beyonce. No, no, I mean, but, but don't you think that that Beyonce thing just it's made him cross over. And Kanye like, West as well. Like, like, like wait, 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 remember, like crazy, crazy in love was a massive crossover that he did the whole thing with Linkin Park and then he then sort of like went beyond rap because hey, he check, he never... Kanye yeah. carried him for a few years easily for a few years Kanye was carried him. like there was a, like especially after after he retired when he came back after he retired and came back like mm. Kanye West carried him for like a few years mm. no, no but I, I I kind of agree with HH because uh, I'll give a, um, a current a current um, example. I think like a little bit of like that guy in the NFL that's dating Taylor Swift. You see how his career is just going up. These fans sometimes they carry careers. Yeah, because because uh, Taylor Swift just because she appears in games is crazy. So okay, so yeah. so Adrian, what about you? so Drake Kendrick? Can, can Drake beat Kendrick? It depends on what he has on Kendrick because. Mm. I've, if we're talking about obviously we think Kendrick's the um, the better rapper, but I feel like Drake has nothing to lose but everything to gain, and Ooh. that could give him an edge in the battle. Drake has nothing because to lose, in the sense that as you said that he can't lose because of the women and the fan base he has. No, 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 Okay, let's keep it in hip hop, strictly hip hop. He has not he he, he has nothing to lose if he keeps it in hip hop strictly. But can you can you say? You can keep it hip hop strictly, because even oh, no, after no, no, his oh, no. well, yeah, because if he if doesn't get respect thing... in the community anyway, so if he loses this battle, is like oh, we knew he was it's Kendrick, we knew he was going to lose anyways. But, but if he know, wins, it, no, it, yeah, Adrian makes a key point. Like, does a Kendrick Drake battle make sense? One guy's a pop star, one guy's a rapper. One guy makes rap albums, another guy makes pop albums. So, right. so, so, okay, so, okay, so, what are you fighting for? One guy is a number one pop star, one guy is a number one rap star. So, what are we so actually I, fighting for so here? But that's why we want to J. Cole. <sighs> that's, maybe see, <laughs> this was supposed to be J. Cole Kendrick because we're trying to find who is the number one rap guy. Drake, you're not a rapper. You just want to be respected in rap because of your fragile ego. You're a pop star. Like, bro, you've never made a rap album. <laughs> so my thing, though, is that, let's be real, this Drake and Kendrick thing, it actually doesn't make sense. Kendrick, you can't do what Drake does. Drake, you can't do what Kendrick does. To you put can't... in an analogy, this is Anthony Joshua versus Nganu, but in rap. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, we because all... my thing here, okay, let's say Kendrick wins. Destroys him, washes him up, and everything. Drake can just release like a dance album, literally, and then go back to. So, so, so my things are okay. The your rap guy, I know, and I think someone even says as well. He's not even respected in rap, anyways. Like, do people resp ever since that Quentin Miller thing, bro? Do people respect Drake in hip hop circles? No. Like when people talk hip hop, hip hop, it's Kendrick J Cole. Those are the two guys. It's not Drake. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, he can rap. He can rap. He's not a rapper. There's one thing I'm like, oh yeah, he can rap. He's pretty good rap. I know this is like elites. So the elites are Kendrick and J. Cole. These are the elites. 
So, but but but, but, but if wow. Drake somehow beats Kendrick, now now that's messed up because Kendrick, <laughs> you you cannot lose to a part time rap rapper, bro. I'm sorry. Now, if he Kendrick, loses, you he's cannot lose cooked, to a part time rap rapper. He's kind of done. If he loses, he's kind of cooked. <laughs> Well, can, can we talk about the state of rap if Drake wins? Bro, the state of rap if but, but that see, affects that. that see, it, that's that you know what's crazy. That's why Drake wants this. Drake is like, I can be a pop star and come on do this rap thing, and I, I can be I as a part time rapper can be a full can beat a full time rapper. That's why Drake wants this. The conversations like, oh, he's gonna be in because is gonna be crazy. that is Drake's flex. Drake's flex is. I can make number one pop stuff. I can make stuff for the ladies. And I can also, listen, I can rule the world with the women. I can rule the world with the guys. I, I have a question, HH. Uh, yes. What was um, Drake being the face of rap or Holland being the face of football? Holland being the face of football is worse. <laughs> because, 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 no, 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 okay, wait, okay, no, that's very easy. Guys, Drake, can, he, he can rap. Yeah, yeah, true. Like, I don't care what I said. He is a good rapper. No, I wouldn't say he's elite. Drake is a good rapper. He's he's good. <laughs> so but for what he represents, Drake. Because if you're looking at rap, rap came from um, a working class mm. community. No, 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 no. no but, but it no, it is no say true. But rapping is rapping. Drake is a true. good rapper. He's not a great rapper. He when when this guy just wants to just rap this. Bro, I've heard bad rappers, guys who can't rap. Uh, where I can't even say. Drake has some nice tunes, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. The, the, guy, the guy's a good rap. Like, bro, I told you, one of my favorite albums is "Thank Me Later." That's like, that is like on my playlist. Like, that is a good album musically. So my thing though is, is it for me, I am I'm ready for this whole Drake Kendrick thing, man. Because I'm like, what does Drake have? And guys, do we want to keep? Let's let's keep it. It's 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 a stack. Has Kendrick been battle tested? No, 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 not yet, not yet. Like, so said, I don't blame him. I don't blame. No, no, no. no. He, it's like he just released that control verse, but you were not in a battle. But no one wants to battle him because I don't know why. Like whenever no, he no, no, okay, okay. Sends... You see, that's what I said. Tax, you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to battle Kendrick. Why? If a guy no, no, but hey, come on. He's called out people before. He's called out a lot of people. Like, but the, he's been called, this Drake thing and call this call thing is not new. Like. It's been said like it's been for a few years, like he's been slightly digging out call like and even control, he called out every rapper in the book and then barely anyone wanted to go back and forth with him. I mean, look at what I mean what was it called? I mean, um Slade White say man, can can um can Drizzy pull up on pull off an upset against K Dot? Uh no. Um this is gonna be the uh if we're gonna Equivocate this to football. This is going to be the FA Cup final when Man City beat Watford 6 0. Um, <laughs> this dude, right after releasing the, after he got dunked on by Pusha T, dropped a song called I'm Upset. This dude has no chance. I'm sorry. Oh, like, no, no, okay, 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 Slade. Say, if, hey, no, okay, if, say, okay, saying that, what will he say if Drake pulls off an, an upset? Because it, cause I, I really, I don't know how delete the I genre. Don't think delete the genre. Delete the genre. Bro. We're acting like he had he's this dude has danced around Kendrick for so long, right? Back when before Kendrick dropped um before he dropped Damn, Kendrick had a song called The Heart Part 4 where he went at Drake and Drake had nothing to say at the same time that Drake cuz Drake dropped the um, he dropped like that BS like playlist. It was yeah. an album, he called it a playlist. Yeah, 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 and yeah, he said yeah. multiple times like he's he's like I'm not I'm top 3 but I'm not Two, but something like that. Basically, you can see. I'm top two, and I'm not. I'm, I'm not two. That's what he said. I'm top two, and I'm not two. Exactly. And then immediately after that, Kendrick drops Heart Part Four, which, if you've heard, fucking bangs. So, me honestly, um, I sound like a Kendrick stand, but this dude has no chance. If if rap ended today, if this this was the last day of the rap genre. Are we saying Drake? Does Drake even crack the top twenty-five? I don't think so. No, no, not even top fifty. He's not, not even he's top not, fifty. Not, not, like, wait, wait, you mean of all time or of his generation? All time rapping. He's not top hundred. He's between ninety and hundred. I, I don't know. I can, AK, I can, I can, name, I can name you hundred rappers that are better than Drake. Nah, I'm because just remember, 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 this is this is all time. 
Oh. Mm. And this is for rap. So hip, not pop, rap, rap. There were 100 rappers. Yeah, yeah, 100, 100, 100, yeah. More than 100, like 150. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> see, 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 my thing here is, but, but again, it's, it's point that AK made. In a battle, it's about content. Especially in the social media world. Yo, this is bigger and, and, than and, and just also, rap. Like, yeah, AK, and also, let's just go into memes, go into Twitter, go into Instagram. Uh, like, AK just said, the, he just said the buzzword there. Does, we know that Drake is very much of the times of social media memes is kendrick like that because you're not drake nah, can get nah. creative Wait, but i have a great point the fact that kendrick okay, is not like that isn't that an advantage for drake because something that he could say something that could catch us so off guard because we know nothing about oh, no, no, kendrick no, no, but, 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 but the whole point is that the youth dictates what's cool the youth dictates mm. what it is so the world 2024 is about the internet it's about social media. It's about TikTok and memes. So Drake can get if he gets if he gets creative, he can make Kendrick look stupid. So for Drake, can he find something to make us look at Kendrick crazy? Because as of right now, before this apparent nuclear bomb that he has, we view Kendrick as an elite rap artist. But it would have to be like it would have to be like super incriminating. Part of the reason why the whole Pusha T the whole Pusha T disc was so like wild was the the album cover mm. with Drake in that blackface. Like, what the fuck is this? I mean, yeah, so it yeah, would have to, bro, so yes. whatever Drake has, it has to be like nuclear, nuclear. No, no, no basically, it's, basically, he has to come up with something where like, whoa, damn. Like, look, Joe Biden said that apparently what he has something nuclear. It's just that, okay, 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 guy. Do you think Drake will res respond? 100% he will. He definitely will. Okay, why did okay, Hydro? Why did he say one hundred percent? Because people, I, feel, I just saw someone in the chat said he won't, he won't respond. Why did he say one hundred percent? I feel like this is just his. He he likes this type. He likes being in the news. He likes doing these sort of stuff where it's gonna keep him relevant. So mm -hmm. I one hundred percent see him putting out something, even if he he knows he's gonna lose. I feel like he will put out something. So everyone, so everyone agrees that Drake is definitely gonna respond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he will, but it's gonna take some time. Yeah, he's gonna wait a little bit. It's been what three uh, weeks? Yeah. Hasn't it been three weeks? No, 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 let me see. The the rumor is tonight. No, but it's be been three weeks. You responded to push you within like wait, wait, like, wait, wait. because like Future and Metro Boomin's album comes out like tomorrow, tomorrow, Friday. Yeah. Wait, who's is who's is Drake on it or who's on that? No, 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 no. Like um, no, that, no, no, no. That's the ops of Drake. Future. No, no. I, so they're gonna, Kendrick's gonna do another feature again. Maybe they 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 think it. Maybe he might be. But so they're saying that because the album dropped Friday. They're saying that apparently Drake is gonna drop something tonight. So oh, no, forget a feature. Just do a full on track, man. Kendrick, like, don't do a feature. You got you gotta have at least minimum two verses. No, no. I, also, also let, let's just be like, even the whole Drake Kendrick thing, it wasn't even that. All he said was that there's no big three. I'm number one. So he didn't even really go deep, 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 really, you know? Nah, nah, he mentioned, he mentioned uh, all the dogs, which is Drake's album. He was saying, like, yeah, 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 yeah. come on, man. And uh, he, he said, uh, he said uh, Prince outlived Mike Jackson. So uh, Michael Jackson, like... So, okay, so basically, well, I was saying that if Drake engages in battle, he's getting torched by Kendrick. I, I think he'll be good, but he'll lose. Because he can't uh, I think... Kendrick. <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh, it's just like, for example, um, J. Cole's diss towards Kendrick was underwhelming because he didn't he didn't have much to go on against Kendrick. That's why he started mentioning his albums, which was a nail for himself because because uh, Kendrick's albums are good, so he can't really go on that route. So I don't know what uh, Drake is gonna have against Kendrick. And I don't know what Kendrick is gonna have against Drake because what's the, what's there? What else is there to know about Drake that's not already known? So I don't know. It's just gonna be redressing whatever Pusha T said back in the day or something. I don't know. Well, let's hear something funny, new. Yeah. Hey, it's good for it. It's good for it. You know exactly. what's funny is the fact that J Cole said on the disc that your album was sleepy. The fact that it came from him. <laughs> no, like, but I think that was probably like an irony. Because everyone no, says no, that's okay, he makes like sleepy albums, so Drake, I'll be Drake's 
Drake's probably got better, more better albums than J. Cole. Let's keep it real. Well, you know, you know, he does. No, he does. He does. Like J. Cole's got maybe. In, in my view, J. J. Cole has maybe two good albums. Maybe. That's a stretch. What are those, that's, what are those that's two, a stretch. What are those two albums? Two. Do you think? Off, off season. Oh, um, what, 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 what's it Forest called? Hills. Um, Forest Hill and um, Off Season. What about for your eyes only? No. Stop. No. 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 Ah, no. That I nearly slept listening to that. Like, 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 what's it called? Thank me later. I think that's a bonafide classic. Um, what's the one he released afterwards? Take Nothing care. Is the same. That's that's a classic. Take care. Um, take care. Take care. Views. Take care. That's a pretty good album. You know, um, what's it called? If you're reading this, it's too late. If you're reading this, he has like take. at least yeah. he has at least two or three classics. Drake, musical. But album. if you're reading this too late, it's uh, it, it's tainted because because there's actual uh, reference tracks from Quentin. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. no, some no, of no, them. No, I mean, put put this way. Drake does not. I'm oh, sorry. J Cole doesn't have a classic album. He doesn't have a classic. Yeah, album. and now I don't even care. Yeah. If you're releasing a classic, I don't even care anymore. You don't think I'm sorry. Fourteen is a no. no, it's a it's a good album. It's a really good album. It's not a classic. It's a really good album. Mm. No, it was right. No, it, it was it was it was decent. KOD was decent. No. Hey Chase, I want to yeah, ask I like, like it no, it's hey Chase, I want to ask a question. Whenever you want to get to it, not we can do it later or something. But what's like your best diss tracks? Oh, actually, you know what? Let me let's even make that a um, let's make that a thing. Oh, so, here nice, so, yeah. so this is what I've said again. Everyone goes to eat, and that's why I started off with pound for pound. Pound for pound, cannabis second, K, second round KO, because you have to realize that who LL Cool J was and who cannabis was. Do you know what it means where you are an upcoming rapper going up against a guy who people consider one of the greatest rappers of all time, one of the most influential rappers of all time, and you had the audacity to discredit him? What the industry did to cannabis was shameful, shameful. Because what should have happened is he did that, killed your, LL Cool J does Red Ripper strikes back, you shake hands and you move on. What kind of was it? It was so bad and so scary that he got blackballed. <laughs> so the industry blackballed him. So because the industry went for LL Cool J, but so pound for pound, what kind of was it did took balls of steel, balls of freaking steel. So that's one there. Um, obviously the common ones um, bitching you to. Um, um, ice cube that's quality um there's a really, a really good one um I think it's it's a um, pace one to eminem because i could because pace one is from detroit and he went after and really because he knew pesos of what eminem so pace one to him was bloody good man um you see people will call me a hater and people will say okay what about eminem nail, nail in, in, in in the coffin do you know why i can't rate that you went after a guy who's not even top 1,000 rapper. Benzino is not a rapper. <laughs> He's, the guy was the owner of, of the source. And this is what people don't want to say. Has Eminem ever won against an actual rapper? <laughs> no one wants no one wants no one wants to no one wants to talk, bro. No one wants to like, right, I just talking about, has Eminem he's gone against pop stars, he's gone against boy bands, he's gone against singers, he's gone against Benzino. Vanilla Ice has he Shout ever gone against a natural rapper? White people rap beef Shout is different, right. though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, uh, who, Barry, who has Mariah gone won? against him? Mariah, Mariah won that, bro. Mariah yeah, won. That, that, that track boy is <laughs> Mariah won that. Mariah, Wait. she won. Hey, 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 do, you <laughs> listen to, do you listen to British rap? A bit, yeah. Shout out yeah, to Dave. There, there, there was a diss that I think Stormzy made towards Oh, uh, my, oh towards Wiley. Wiley. That, that was, that, oh, that was really yeah, good, no. yeah. I've not, actually, I'll listen, I'm, I'm not listening oh. to it. I'll, I'll listen to it. I'll listen, I'm not that listening to it. That was really good. Nah, no, hey, you, you know, an, 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 a really underrated diss that no one wants to give credit to because people just hate him, thanks to 50 Cent, when Ja Rule went after, like, five, six guys. Yeah, he went after, yeah. He went after no, Buster Rhymes. Man. Dr. Dre, Eminem. He talks about Dr. Dre wearing wearing dresses, doing ballet. He went after Buster Rhymes. He went after Eminem. He went after Eminem's kid. That yeah, yeah. is trap was scary. and people just didn't give him credit. But bro, he one man went after like three, four guys. Yeah, he was as well. I think. 
So, 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 what, so, what about yours? Your favorite? As you guys in the industry, some of your yeah, favorite diss tracks. Hey, Chase, I've got some, I've got some sleepers that if you guys haven't heard it, you might need to listen to it. Bro, but, bro, tell me, so I will, I will, I will, I will go to YouTube afterwards, man. Yeah, being a seagull's diss to Jadakiss was crazy. So, like, here's, I don't the know so here's the thing. So, because I was listening to Rory and, and Mal, and maybe I, I missed it. Because they said, because Mal was saying like Jadakiss and Beans, that it was real beef. That it that was, was, was personal. Nah, it's the diss, yeah, it was personal, yeah, but the diss was crazy. Like, being a seagull, what he did was crazy. Like, it's, it's one of the most, like, underrated diss. I don't know, it's like, if it's mainstream or not, but it's like, it's got a few million views on YouTube, but it's like crazy underrated, but... Mm. I'm trying to think. Yeah, Sakura knockout was crazy. Just that video as well. That Mike Tyson. Yeah, Mike Tyson <laughs> really well. but, and also, it's it's also it's what he said about because no one ever said that about LL Cool J. And you have to yeah. understand that it was coming from a guy, not a major rapper. Cannabis was just beginning to stress, get through, and he, bro, he went after LL Cool J in a way that no one ever did, bro. Yeah, and that so, was crazy. But Ice Cube, no Vaseline's up there. Like the way he did the whole of NWA yeah, was crazy. Yeah, yeah. I like I, I like another sleep one. I like Easy Ease this to Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Um, I don't know if you heard it. Real G's. I think that's oh, what no, 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 no. Yeah, that's another one. Um, I'm trying to think of some modern ones in the last maybe five, ten yeah, it's, years. It's, 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 modern it's hard. They've not really been because even the the Pusha T one was like, eh. you know, I, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't, call, I wouldn't call it an all timer. Even Drake to McMill, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call those one all timers. Like the the most recent all timer, I'll say, is probably Ja Rule's. Like the Ja Rule one where he went after four or five guys. That's probably an all timer. Because basically, put it, put it this way: if you look up, if you go to the Ja Rule this on the YouTube thing. You see all this Eminem fans saying, bro, man, you went too, too, too far, bro. You can't talk about his daughter like that. <laughs> so when people say you went too yeah. far, that's when you know that this yeah. is, is, is bad. So, he, said, he said, M, your mom is a crackhead. Your uh, is a known Kim is a, Kim is a known slut. What be when she, she, she yeah. up? God, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad, bro. It was, it was bad. That's bad. I was bad, man. I was bad. I was bad, man. I was bad. Uh, so, what about you? So, some of your, your distracts. Um, I don't have a lot. Um, is hit him up at all time? Do we consider that all time? And come on, that was exactly. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's oh, I was mentioning it. I was not. I'm not really a big fan of hit him up, really. But it's just seen as an as an all time. But personally, for me, I'm not a big fan of it. But yeah, it's seen as an all time yeah. for sure. Hit him up, I like, and then the other one. Oh, oh, is oh, not... sorry, sorry, another one as well. I forgot. Yeah. MKRS one. The bridge is over. Oh yeah, yeah, that was massive because that guy literally decimated a whole part of New York. But yes, yeah, so is that like the first? Is that's like the first, like first? Yeah, that's that, that probably like, like the first, beat. like popular big district was that one. Kira's one year, Bridge is over. Yeah, that was in like the eighties or something. Yeah, eighties and But yeah, hit him up, and then I don't know. It's not like a super like. It's just, it, it's more modern. I just when it dropped, I found it so hilarious. But the kill shot, the Eminem diss track to MGK. Okay, now which which do you think was the better diss track, the MGK one or the Eminem one? The Eminem one, <laughs> bro. To me, it was MGK. To me, it was MGK. Uh, I like, yeah, I like MGK. I think yeah, MGK, MGK was, was funny, man. It, it was funny. Bro. <laughs> no, no, because that's what because you know, his, you know, this is why it just shows you that Eminem is like a cheat code. MGK won. I'm sorry if you're being objective, totally objective. MGK and I was shocked. Like, wait. Did MGK just win? <laughs> MGK's was better. Because because the thing about it was like, MGK, he went exactly as how you go to Eminem now. You see, Eminem back in the day, it's hard. Eminem now, bro, you're a hobo. You stay in all the, the time. You're not in with the times. You're past it. And he went, so MGK, he won that. So, you know. What else it? Was, okay, so what's it called? Barry, what are you? The ones that you got. Nah, I'm I'm not a big diss track guy, but Ether, nah, that that was nasty. Oh, yeah. man. That's the main one. Yeah, that's the that's that was nasty. Man. I'm still I, I still don't know how like um the repercussions are not that big today because that was a nasty track. Um, best what about you? Um, well, I love hit him up. But I, I I I like I like these tracks that sound good to me. Uh, yeah. hit him up. Uh, Ether. I liked um Jarwell's New York. 
I have a hundred and hundred clips. Nigga, I'm yeah, from yeah, New yeah, York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I even had J Lo in the video clip as well, like next to Jay the Kiss because Jay the Kiss and Fat Joe were in it as well. Nah, like that, those were vibes back back then. Yeah. Um, who else? Uh, yeah, Rap Devil when it dropped, I was I was like, <laughs> because like I don't know, man. I, I I used to love Eminem, but nowadays I just, I just can't identify no, with no, him. No, no, like, no, like, you know, because nobody nobody just... wants to say this, but like. You can't listen to Marshmallow's LP in 2024. That thing has aged like... It's like, aged no. bad, yeah. It's aged bad. Like, Very. Like, it's, 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 I, I wouldn't it's, say it's, that. that. I wouldn't say that. I'm, Bessie, just, I was, I'm just Bessie, saying that... No, no, no. No, no, no. Bessie. Social experiment. Try and listen to Marshall Mother's LP. You see, Slim no, Shady LP... Many of the songs are still loved. Because, like, it is so of that time where that's yeah, I get what, you. That's in 2024, it's just doesn't it doesn't it doesn't work in 2024, bro. Yeah, I get you, but like, but it's just like I just grew grew to like not like an Eminem anymore. I don't know, like his style of rapping nowadays, like just like no, syllable after work. syllable after syllable. Like it, to me, it just doesn't it doesn't no, 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 it doesn't no, no, hit no, the no, same. Why, like it's like that's why <laughs> you have to call. That's why Nas and Jay Z are great. Listen to 444. Some yeah. of Nas's best albums is this run he's had with Hitboy. So look at how Nas and Jay Z have aged, and look at how Eminem has 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 aged. Yeah, you know. So okay, so so yeah. Adrian, what about you? Some of your best diss tracks, Adrian. Um, three that stick to mind. No, I thought I told you my favorite one is No Vaseline because mm. NWA were actually good friends and they were a group and. And he single handedly went yes. all over them. And yeah. single handedly went at all of them. Um, going to the UK, Stormzy versus Wiley's beef. There was one um, track that Stormzy was it still disappointed that sticks mm. out to me. Um, but I'd say um, No Vaseline is my favorite one. All right, so let me see what is the difference to say, man. Um, oh, by the way, sorry, sorry. There's um, like um, what's his name, Chipmunk. He dissed Stormzy so hard. This guy was looking for him out in London. Oh yes, yeah. Storm, Stormzy never replied to him. He kept, oh, yeah, no, no, he, he couldn't. Stormzy he never couldn't. replied to him. Oh my god! So, so, so actually, so in in the UK, who do you say is the the a guy who you can't beat beat in a diss track? No, I, I wouldn't say. I, I wouldn't say this. I'd say if there was someone that you shouldn't go for, like you can't. I'd say gets gets. In the UK, so, so if you, is that is that from a lyrical point of view or from this guy has a lot of guys in the street that would actually meet you? <laughs> both, but I say I say for the streets I say gigs, but for the um, lyrically lyrical. I say gets gets okay. like I don't think anyone touches him lyrically in the UK. Yeah, we're well, much going to look up these guys, man. So Harris or Adaj, man, J Cole was on top of his game, had Kendrick's ex label mates. Oh man, Absol and Cooper Q on his album and show also has GID Dreamful in his corner. I mean, bro, you had so much ammo. Look at the amount of ammunition this guy had. No, this is one of the biggest fumbles of all time. Easily one of the biggest fumbles of all time. Easily. Uh, Martin Rosario, man. If K Dots can pit women against Drake, like Pusha T did, it's going to be Dark House for Aubrey. Even Ricardo Woods pits. How does he do that, though? How do you get women to go okay. against Drake? It's gonna have to work overtime, man. Women love this guy so much, man. It's crazy. No, because it depends, like... in it? Domestic abuse or something. If it's got something. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Bro. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. There we... like, if you let me see, if you do something of domestic abuse, violence against women that you can bring up, that's the only way. So it's it's, it's gonna be something so egregious towards women. Outside of that. Because, because you see, that's how you beat Drake. The way you beat Drake is how do you get women to go against him? How do you get women to go against him? Because no one respects him in, in hip hop. No one does. So Drake knows that man. I have. I think that if you're a guy, you need Drake. <laughs> so if you're a guy and you have a girlfriend and wife, because Drake, that's the clubbing. That's going out. So women love Drake. So. You have women, plus you have guys, because guys need women to like that kind of music. So if you find a way to somehow get women to go against Drake, that's your end. But how do you? 
can you? <laughs> That's the thing. Um, Marvin Boki, I forgot about this one. 50 Cent, How to Rock. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this actually Is that this? Bro, he went out to everybody. Uh, I, thought, I thought that was the one that he was exposing, but like, yeah, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, by the way. No, he, he literally just insulted everybody. I remember. I uh, remember. What's, what's the name? The, the girl that um, that's with Papoose. The, the, what's her name? Oh, Remy Ma. Remy Ma, when she dissed Nikki. She's her. She's her. Oh, yeah, she's her. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, she, she got Nikki, but. Wait, and also, did Megan the Stallion do something against. Um, a little bit. Nikki and yeah, the that, Nikki. That was like, the Nikki's response that, was. That, that was my thing. AJ, that was trash, man. That was trash. <laughs> Shout out to Callisto, who says, um, the best diss track is Lift Yourself, Kanye West. If you know Wait, so what's do you know the, so what is the full story behind this? So basically he gave the, Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah you oh, said he gave the um the what's it some is it Sam Paulo um beat to Drake. Then he said Drake can't use it or something like that, then he just messed it up. Or something like that. I think. No, no, he basically said to Drake, um, he, he gave it the beat and said, Can you write something for me for this beat? And then Drake thought, Yeah, I'm, he's going to use my raps, this and that. And he decided to just rap some absolute rubbish and then just trolling him. Oh, wow. No, no, actually, Drake wanted the beat. Drake wanted the beat to do something with it. And then he ended up not giving it to him and then yeah. doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I feel. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, 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 so that's around because I, I, I need to have some later dinner, man. So, are we gonna have a rap battle between Kendrick and Drake? Since J J Cole is too pussy, are we definitely gonna have this? Yes, we will. I'm not excited for it, man. I'd rather have Cole, man. But Cole, bro, okay, see, see, if that's, no, if, you know what? If, if let me okay, let me level with you. If I see J Cole, I'll, I will I will slap him in the face, bro. I would slap the guy. If I saw J Cole right now, I would slap him in the face and say, "Oh, you actually rap pretty well, but I would slap him in the face." Because... He probably would say, "Yeah, slap me again." Like, hey, Chase, slap me again. <laughs> Whoa, no, no, Diddy, no, Diddy, no, Diddy. No, 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 yes, Diddy. In wait, in terms of, of J Cole, it is yes, 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 Diddy for for, for J Cole. No, but <laughs> Cole tried no, to but... swing on Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> no, but see, my him and Diddy is, yeah, didn't like... have a fight. I, I wanted this. I mean, I'll bring J. Cole, everything would have been so good. Because then you, have, you literally have two rap titans, both battling. Bro, it would have been amazing. W would it, though? Would it? Why not? I mean, well, I, I get it's a bad example, and it's long. It's a, it was a long time ago. But you remember when they did that Black Friday, that Black Friday collab, when J. Cole, J. Cole did, um, he rapped over Kendrick's All Right, and then yes. Kendrick rapped over. I forgot what forgot what instrumental it was. Ten J Cole on all right, yeah. J Cole sounded all right on Kendrick's beat, mm. but Kendrick sounded ten times better on J Cole's and, beat. And, and so, do you want know to say how long? When when was that? I think it was like twenty fifteen. Twenty. But I'm like fifteen. And, and trust I, me, the J Cole of twenty four is a totally different rapper than that guy twenty fifteen. Hence why. That is why people wanted it because this is a whole different J. Cole. And as J. Cole said, like, yeah, bro, I am now entering my prime now. Yeah. I am now at the top. Like back then, I admit I was not as, as good as you. Now I'm the best. Kendrick, show me you're as you're as good as me. Because like, here's the thing. I don't, Mr. Morale was not good, bro. I don't think that was it a wasn't. good album. It wasn't. So my thing is that this was the perfect opportunity for J. Cole to be like, ooh, there's an opening. There's an opening here for me to take that freaking crown. And it was not done so Kendrick. Do you still have it? Can you still a, rap like how we know you can rap? I have a question for you. Yes, sir. Is Jay Z and Nas the last time we had a beef with like the two widely considered best in the scene yeah. at the time? Last year, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Last yeah. time. You know. So if J Cole and Kendrick went at it, this would have been two the two best rappers in the game. Widely considered since Nas and Jay Z went at it. No, first time in a generation. Here's the slight difference of, of that. When they battled, they both had classics. So when they, they battled, one guy had Illmatic, considered as one of the best albums of all time, and one guy had. Um... The Blueprint or Reasonable Doubt? No, 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 or... Reasonable Doubt. Yeah. Still seen as a classic. So they already had that too. So J. Cole doesn't have a classic. 
He's just but, a very good rapper. But these were guys who were considered bro. These guys already have a classic albums. These guys have already made a profound impact on rap or, or, already. So even if J. Cole and Kendrick Bradley, it would not be like now that J. was like, these are literally two titans. J. Cole is not a titan to the level of do, Nas or Jay-Z. But don't you think you're comparing them to that generation instead of comparing them to their peers at this current time? Okay, okay. I'm trying to think. A good example of Kendrick. Okay, put, put, put it this way. If Drake made a pure rap album, it would probably be closer to like Drake and... I mean, just like... Because I'm trying to think, like, is there a guy... Okay, which rapper has a classic rap album that you could say is Kendrick's contemporary? I don't, I don't, guys, I don't... I don't or in today's one. time. Yeah, or for, 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 for today's time. I don't, I don't think there's one. I mean, chat, is there... Okay, chat, is there a Kendrick contemporary, a guy who, rapper, who has released classic rap albums to the same degree as Kendrick? There isn't. No, there isn't. There isn't. Little, it's not, it's not a little baby, stop it. Drake hasn't, Drake has never made a rap album. <laughs> Drake has never made a rap album. I'm sorry, having four rap songs and six pop songs, that's not a rap album. So... I think I mean, but but so it really, the closest thing to it would be J Cole and Kendrick. It wouldn't be the same, but it would be is the an, closest thing. Is an answer to your question, Lil Wayne? Would Lil Wayne be an answer to your question? Yeah, uh, you see, but Lil Wayne is not that generation, though. And there we go. You see, you see, in 2024, mm. Lil Wayne is not of this. His generation was from before. So basically, see, the issue. That, see, that's why the Kendrick J. Cole thing would have been interesting because for, for J. Cole, put it this way, this, if J. Cole went into battle with Kendrick, he won, and the fall off was a classic, we have a new king. We have a new king. So, yeah. so if J. Cole went to battle, he won, let's say, say, let's say he, he didn't even win, but it was, okay, it was like the back of the first, it was like, okay, we have a different view as to who won, and the follow comes and the cloth is the clap, then that would be perfect. That would be perfect, you know. Because the issue with Drake, though, is that Drake, you've not, you've not even made a freaking rap album, bro. No, you've not, you know, you've not made a rap album. So I don't even know how this freaking works, man. Um, so that's 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 my thing. But look, let's just see what this happens, man. I'm, I'm hungry, I have to go to eat, man. But yeah, look, me too, man. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Now, if Drake responds, we're gonna be back here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sure. We will so guys, straight remember, I, I if Drake responds. Where's that guy? Emergency on this channel? Emergency hang out on this channel. No, 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 no,